Hi, my name is Professor William Corder, and I am the instructor for this Physical Geography and the Environment 101 number 29873 class that runs from September 3rd at 5 p.m. through December 9th at 1159 p.m. 2023 in this fall 2023 14-week semester format at Santa Ana College. Canvas suggests using Chrome or Firefox rather than Safari. They also suggest that you clear your cache to ensure fluidity and functioning of your system. YouTube has lots of videos on how to do that. Please load uh, Canvas's phone number into your phone. It's 844-612-7428. They're available to you free of charge 24-7. I found them to be extremely helpful and very patient. So before I tell you how to get on the class, I'm going to tell you a little story. I work out sometimes at the YMCA near my house and I sometimes work out with this guy named Gabriel, Gabe, G-A-B-E. He's a Vietnam veteran and he, when he found out that I teach geography for a living, he said to me, I never realized how important geography was until I got to Vietnam, which makes all the sense in the world, right? Because when you're fighting a war, you need to understand latitude and longitude. You have to be able to read maps. You have to understand topography. You have to understand meteorology and climatology and all of these things. So what I'm telling you is that geography really is a cross-disciplinary subject. And if you study diligently for this class, I think what you're going to find is that over your lifetime, a lot of the things in this class come back and are actually useful. So here's the way we do this. The way you log on to this class is you type in sac.edu, sac.edu, and then this page or a similar page is going to show up. Then you click on Canvas up here and this log into Canvas bronze banner is going to show up. When you click on that, it's going to allow you to enter your information, which will eventually bring you to, well, not exactly that, but I've had some interruptions, but to this, to your Canvas dashboard. Now, this is my Canvas dashboard. Um, so it looks a little different from yours, but you just scroll around and find your class. And there it is, Geography 101, number 29873. Click on that, and then the home page for Canvas for this class is going to open up. It says start here, probably a good place to start. What do you think? Read through this and then uh, watch that video. I would appreciate that very much. Notice it says deadlines matter. They do. If you don't get things done in the deadline time, in the time frame, I cannot reopen them for you. Also notice if you're going to use chat GPT, you're going to get nailed at some point. And when you get nailed, I'm going to have to file a maximum report against you. And that's not good for you. And it's a hassle for me. So let's just, as it says, let's not make things awkward. Just write your own responses and everything will be cool. Come back over here, backspace, there we go. And you can see right here it says, Welcome to Physical Geography and Environment 101. Yes, this is similar to start here above, because it is. The school has built in some redundancies, so that's one of the redundancies. They want you to see certain things. Come over here on the left-hand side, let's click on the syllabus. And then you're going to see that, once again, deadlines matter. I have this in many places. The syllabus is going to open up for you. Now, I'm not going to read through the entirety of the syllabus, but know that there is a syllabus quiz. I'll show you a few things, no-shows. So if you don't complete the first two assignments in module one, I'm required by the school and the state to drop you. So please make sure that you complete those things, okay? And they're due by uh, Saturday, September 9th at 1159 p.m. Make sure that you get those things done. Disclaimer, I reserve the right to modify this syllabus course overview if needed. Instructor contact information, course name, textbook. So textbooks are supplemental in this class. There is no required textbook, but you can see some possible textbooks if you want to use a textbook for supplement. Course placement, DSBS statement. If you're a DSBS student, please get that information to me quickly so that I can accommodate you appropriately. Student learning outcomes, course objectives, course topics, attendance. Notice with the course topics that there's uh, four sections in this class. Each one of those sections will end with an exam. The chat GPT and other AI warning I just gave you a minute ago. Course grading. Uh, basically, this is a straight scale that we grade on our exams and uh, video homework assignments and the syllabus quiz and the discussion boards. And then notice no exams will be dropped, no video homework assignments will be dropped, the syllabus quiz will not be dropped, no discussion boards will be dropped, there are no makeups, retakes, or redos on anything, zero will be assigned for anything you don't complete. Once graded assignments uh, close, they cannot be reopened and no late work is accepted. This is a schedule for the semester 
you know, I would take a look at that. It gives you an idea of what's going on. Technical support, Canvas site, obviously required technology. You need to have functioning technology and functioning internet in order to be able to take this class because it's fully online. Academic honesty and student code of conduct. Assignments of Canvas, important dates, miscellaneous. Notice the final exam is open from 12 a.m. on Sunday, December 3rd through 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, December 9th. That's it. Title IX. Okay? And then down below that, you can see there's some more stuff. Uh, suggestions for successful completion of geography, which is also part of the syllabus quiz. Some more information on how to contact me, instructor bio, um, emailing me. Please read this stuff on emailing me before you ever send an email to me. That way things, once again, do not get weird and awkward. Let's go back over here to home page. Okay, there it is. Now what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the modules. Okay. So look on the modules and you'll see that we have the course information module. I would read through this information in here. Again, just some more things about how to contact me and uh, you know the, the course syllabus. Like I said, there's some redundancy involved in this. I'm down here through resources and then module one. So this is where we start module one the first week. Uh, what I would do is I would click on this module one introduction and read through this material and watch that video. And then you can either click on next down here. I'm actually going to backspace and it will bring you to the next place. At least it's supposed to. Uh, so here are the four graded assignments of module one. Notice that two of them are due on September 9th, as I said, at 11.59 p.m. The other two are not going to be due until September 16th at 11.59 p.m. But these two, the syllabus quiz and the discussion board, must be completed by that first Saturday, September 9th at 11.59 p.m. or I am required to drop you. So please make sure you do it. Anytime you're doing a quiz, uh, please make sure that you open it and read the instructions before you do it. Same thing with the discussion board. You know, read through the discussion board stuff and, and what you're supposed to do when you're going to reply to the discussion board. You just click on reply and then you type something in here, blah, 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 blah. And then what you do is you post and then you can see everybody else's uh, post. And then, you know, you can reply to their post, which is what your job is to do on the discussion boards. Then click on next down here. And you can see this is the first of the video homework quizzes. What you do is you click on this and it will bring you to dun 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 dun, dun, dun. is it going to happen there it opens up to these professionally captioned videos and you watch the video they're like 28 minutes long and then you take a quiz on that let me backspace out of this there we go but again make sure you read this before you take any of these quizzes and then next again it will bring you to the next one okay down to earth and same thing if you click on that uh, it will bring you to the video to watch they're all like i said professionally captioned Okay, we can go to next again. It's not exactly the way I wanted to do it, but anyway, the textbook versus a professor. So if you want to look at the free textbook, this will tell you where the textbook and I overlap and where we don't. Next again, and this will bring you to a very important page, which is section one, module one, terms and concepts. So these are the terms and concepts that you need to get out of the lectures in section one, module one. So in other words, in this first module, this is the information that you need to get in order to be able to take the first exam. Okay, I'm going to click back over here. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Sorry about that. I was interrupted multiple times while I was trying to make this the first time. So it's it's kind of messed me up in the head a little bit. Sorry about that. So um, as I said, the Section 1, Module 1 terms and concepts, uh, that those terms and concepts are coming from the lecture videos. So for example, here's the first one. Introduction to Physical Geography and the Environment. And you can see if you click on that, there's a video there and I start to lecture. And as I said, it's captioned. So you can just leave the captions on. Here's the next one, Geometry of Degrees and explains the Geometry of Degrees and then Earth Movements and so on. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this term sheet, Section 1, Module 1, Terms and Concepts to gather the terminology and concepts out of these lectures that are here. Each one of these is a lecture. Then when you finish with that, end of first week, then we go on to module two. And then you can see that in module two, we have a discussion board, and then we have something called more about seasons. So anytime you see these more abouts, and they're hanging around from time to time, there's another one, you do not have to watch the more abouts. They're just there to give you more information from somebody else besides me. But you can see that right here, we've got section one, module two, terms and concepts. So in the second week of the class, 
these are the terms and concepts that you'll need to be able to get out of these lectures right here. And then you can see in module three, we have our first exam. And then we go into section two. Section two is starts with module four and then so on. That's the way we kind of roll through this class. Okay, do you have any questions? Raise your hand if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. <laughs> okay, or you can email me. Yeah, very good. So all of the graded assignments are indented one space as you probably saw just a, a moment ago. Let me just pull back over here so I can show you. You can see in module one, these are all of the graded assignments are all indented one space. Then these are the lectures right here. They are not indented. And when I mentioned that more about, the more abouts are indented two spaces, okay? Discussion board topics are not just straight ahead geography topics, although um, almost anything can be construed as geography really, but they're, they're meant to represent topics that might arise organically in a face-to-face -face or a live class. They have some relation to geographic topics, but you know they might be kind of distantly related. Nevertheless, they're the topics or the types of topics that come up in college classrooms and then they elicit discussion. And so that's the way we're really going to roll with this. We're going to go through the discussions and you know they're not always gonna be perfectly related to geography, but they, they do kind of elicit good discussion. So rather than you looking up some famous geographer and telling me about that, I'd rather have you tell me about what happened to you during the pandemic and, and if you learned anything from it. And then you can see in the second one, the future of meat. And you'll, you'll watch a video on that and you'll see something about this kind of weird thing that has to do with this kind of meat that they're making in laboratories. So before we end, how about this? For an extra five points on your section one exam. That's right, that's in module three right there. Okay, there it is. So if you want an extra five points on that module one exam, here's what you do. Email me or message me through Canvas with the name of the guy from the YMCA that I spoke about regarding geography at the beginning of this video. Put the name of the class, which is Geography 101, number 29873, and his name in the subject box. And then in the body of the email, put your name. This has to reach me by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, September 9th in order to receive those points. And I'll tell you something else. If you listened all the way through this video, you should also know that on the email that I sent to you that welcomed you to this class, there's also one of those five point things there. And in fact, there'll be multiples of these throughout the semester if you pay attention. All right, let's have a great semester.